What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and this video is all about two reasons why I think Tesla will leverage SpaceX's Starlink to make billions of dollars. If you've been living under a rock the last week, you probably missed the fact that SpaceX launched a rocket into space and deployed 60 internet satellites for low Earth orbit. The purpose of these satellites is to provide low latency, high speed internet to the world. Now, SpaceX is not going to just stop with the 60 satellites in space. By the end of this project, it will be 12,000 satellites orbiting Earth to provide us with high speed internet. There's a few reasons why this could be lucrative for SpaceX. Number one, there's little to no infrastructure aside from the transmission satellites that are beaming the internet from the satellites to, let's say, your smartphone. The other advantage that this will have will be a significant speed increase from current satellite internet providers. This is because the Starlink satellites will be much closer to Earth, thus reducing the time that that information travels from your mobile device to the satellite and back down to Earth. Now you might be wondering why in the world would Tesla be interested in internet satellite? There's a few reasons, and it's all centered around an internet-connected electric vehicle. Those that are owners of Teslas already know that when that vehicle rolls off of the manufacturing line, it comes internet-connected, at least here in the United States, with an AT&T LTE cellular connection, much like what we have in our smartphones. That allows for things like transmission of Google Maps data to the car so that you know where the bottlenecks are at and five o'clock traffic, but it also allows for owners to do things like stream music as well as podcasts. But in terms of functionality and access to the internet, our cars very much fall short of what many of us are used to with our mobile devices. It's for that reason that I think Tesla Tesla will introduce an app store that will allow for third-party developers to develop applications that owners can then access from the touchscreen. If you've been following Tesla long enough, you probably recall Elon mentioning an app store when he was showing off the Model S for the very first time. We're going to allow um, a whole series of apps to be developed for the car. So over time, as people come up with, with good ideas and cool things that can be added to the, the car, we can just add it in. If somebody's developed an app for um, an iPhone or an Android phone, um, we, and, and it makes sense to add to the car, we can, we, it's very easy to adapt it for that. But unfortunately, that never materialized for Tesla's vehicles. In fact, with version 9 that they launched last year around August, they actually removed the beginnings of that app store because they just hadn't done much with it. Now, the next thing that comes to mind is couldn't Tesla just leverage the existing relationships with cellular companies? That would be much easier, right? Well, in theory, yes, but most likely Tesla has to agree to a certain number of licenses as well as a certain amount of data that is transmitted through that cellular connection. So essentially they're paying those cell providers like AT&T a certain number of dollars per vehicle as well as the amount of data that goes out and comes in to that vehicle through that wireless network. If Tesla can bring that internet access more into the fold by way of Elon Musk's other company, SpaceX, I think Tesla's going to have a far greater advantage over their automotive competitors. It's not only going to open up the amount of data that these cars can use, but it's also going to increase the speed, the internet speed that the owner has access to. So here's three examples that I think an app store would be perfect for. Number one, if you remember last summer, back in, let's say June of 2018, there was a white hat hacker named Green the Only, which I'll bring him up later on in this video, he found some developer code on the back end that indicated that Tesla could be working on a Tesla Tunes or a Tesla iTunes, a, a self-branded music platform to be able to stream music, something very similar to iTunes or Spotify. 
If Tesla created their own music platform similar to these other competitors, they'd be able to make it a source of revenue as well as improve the in-car experience for music and podcasts. The other use case for an app store that I think would be absolutely amazing is video and video streaming like Netflix and YouTube. In fact, about a year ago, last August of 2018, Elon Musk actually responded to someone asking that very question about the ability for in-car screens to facilitate streaming video on Netflix. And Elon Musk responded that it would come in version 10. Now, at first, there will likely be some legislation in various countries, in fact, probably most countries, that do not allow video, streaming video, in the car while the car is in motion. So, initially, I think that Tesla will introduce this capability while the car is in park, for example, while you're supercharging your car. But when Tesla vehicles become fully autonomous, you'll probably want something to do and this will bring a new meaning to Netflix and chill in the car. This makes a ton of sense for Tesla, a company who's looking for new sources of revenue. In fact, we only need to look to Google and Apple to get a glimpse of what the potential market is for an app store. In 2018 alone, Google posted $24.8 billion in gross revenue from the Play Store. Apple's gross revenue for the same year was $46.6 billion. That's $71.4 billion of potential market share that Tesla would have access to if they create their own in-car app store and allow third-party developers to develop apps. At the moment, Apple takes 30% of each application sale and 15% of each subscription sale. So you can see where I'm going here with this. Tesla just needs to create the platform and they need the internet access, the high-speed internet access to be able to facilitate that. One of the other use cases that I could see we've already heard a little bit of information about in regards to Tesla being its own insurance provider. The App Store would make it a really easy user experience to be able to access insurance providers, maybe not just Tesla, but maybe it would compare Tesla against some of the other competitors in the United States and around the globe. You'd be able to opt in through the App Store, signing up for Tesla insurance, and then all of the data that Teslas have access to would be funneled through this application that Tesla has created then verifying that an owner is abiding by the speed limits and not getting into racks and so on. The fourth use case for an app store could be sentry mode. We already know that Tesla has a working product right now, but imagine if the car had high speed internet all of the time, you would very likely be able to open up your Tesla app and utilize it like a Google Nest Cam that, that uh, many people have in their house for security purposes. In other words, being able to connect to the car and see a live video stream as well as store that data of that video coverage in Tesla's cloud. Tesla could offer an enhanced sentry mode free of charge or they could make it another source of revenue, which is awesome in my opinion. The second reason I think Tesla could leverage Starlink to make billions is autopilot and full self-driving. If Tesla had unfettered high-speed internet access, they'd be able to bump up that frame rate for all of the video cameras that are on a Tesla vehicle. So in the instance where a Tesla vehicle gets into a wreck or a driver takes over from autopilot and intervenes, they'd be able to send that full frame rate back to Tesla to be able to train the neural net and then push back out to their fleet of vehicles. If Tesla was not as dependent on an owner's Wi-Fi or that owner connecting their car to Wi-Fi, I think their data could be a little bit more consistent, therefore more quickly training the neural net and improving the vehicles for full autonomy. Essentially, owning their own internet access would allow them to expedite the process of making Tesla cars full self-driving. Ultimately, I think that Tesla wants to get to full self-driving, and so I think that they could make the 
capital investment to add the hardware necessary for internet satellite in the car. But as an, as an added bonus, I think that they could potentially cover their cost, if not more, by creating an app store where third-party developers can create apps to enhance that in-car experience. When I spoke with a friend who's been in the telecom business for two and a half decades, he did say that he felt pretty confident that the hardware necessary to be able to connect a Tesla vehicle to internet satellite is doable and would be able to be hidden within the car or within the frunk. So big shout out to this friend who's been in the telecom business for a while and confirming that that is possible. I also want to give a special shout out to some Twitter friends who helped me get a better understanding of how autopilot data gets sent from vehicles to Tesla and back. That's it for this video. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Is it a pipe dream? Do you think it's doable? Does this make sense? Put it in the comments down below. A big shout out to my Patreon supporters and everyone who is new to this channel. Please consider subscribing. If you're a regular, one of the best ways that you can give back to me is by hitting that like button and sharing this video out to other people you think might be interested in it. Sean Mitchell, All Things EV, signing off. I'll see you all on the next one.